This is the intro to Long Hair Pretty Nail Show, yeah. Hey y'all, what's up and welcome back. So in today's video, I'm gonna be trying out the McCart Emily Susanna Poly Gel Kit and I've gotten so many requests to do this, so let's get to it. But first, let's just appreciate this packaging. I mean, oh my God, you guys know that I love pink. I love the whole aesthetic of this. I love the hollow. Kudos on the packaging. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what we get. All right, so you get your paperwork on top. You have a thank you card and then the instructional pamphlet that tells you all about how to do your poly gel nails. And in the inside of the flap, there is a nice note from Emily. And I just think that is a nice touch. All right, so this is what the kit looks like. And once you take this part out, you have some more goodies underneath. So this is everything that you get in the kit. You get four tubes of poly gel, gel base and top coat. The poly gel tool, which has the brush on one end and the spatula on the other. A nail file, once again, kudos on the packaging and labeling. Door forms. And in this case, you get 12 different sizes. I think that is different from what they've been doing. It's usually 10, I think. And these are the straighter dual forms. It also comes with a mini nail lamp. And this is just a usual mini lamp that they carry with the feet and the six lights. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the USB cord. And this lamp, you just press the top button and it turns on and you press it again to turn it off. It comes with three glitters, super pretty. Also some holographic chrome powder, pink nail crystals, chunky nail crystals, and these 3D heart pieces. All right, so let's get into these poly gel swatches. So the first color is called Bubblegum and it is a beautiful pink pastel color. Next color is Marshmallow, Grape Floss, and then we have Clear. And these are the colors side by side. All right, so these are my nails. If you didn't see my last video, these were the short nails that I did in preparation for the birth of my daughter. They've been on for about three weeks now. If you didn't check out that video, I will leave it down below. But I'm gonna leave my left hand short because I do have a newborn and it just makes things a little bit easier. I am left-handed, so today I'm gonna be doing my right hand and I will show you guys how I take off these Kiara Sky jelly tips. So I'm gonna use my e-file and this extra coarse nail bit, and I'm just gonna file down majority of the product. And this is the process that I do to take off all of my nails. Um, I got videos on this, and yeah, it's the same process that I use. So go ahead and file down the product to as thinly as I feel comfortable doing. And then I'm gonna take these cotton pads and cut them in half. I use these for my face, so that's why they're so big. <laughs> and then I'm putting 100% acetone on them and wrapping my fingers up with aluminum foil, making sure it's nice and tight and snug. And I do that for all of the fingers. So I let this sit for about maybe 30 minutes or so. I, you know, I know there's fast food ways and warm water and everybody got all these tips, but I don't like to sit still when I'm soaking off. I like to be able to get up and walk around, so yeah. So after about 20, 30 minutes or so, I take it off and as you guys can see, the product is softened up and I can go ahead and scrape that off with my cuticle pusher. So this is what it looks like after all that product is off. And now I'm gonna do my nail prep, first by pushing back my cuticles and then using the opposite end to scrape up any of that dead skin on the nails. And then I take my cuticle clean bit and work that around the cuticle area to further get up any of that, you know, dead cuticle skin that's on the nail and all that good stuff. 
And then finally I go in with this round cuticle bit. This is a manicure bit. I don't like to cut my cuticles. I don't really know how to do all that. So this is pretty much what that does. It's just easier. Um, you can just work this around your cuticle area and rub this on the cuticle part that you will cut off with your nippers. It gets it done. It does the manicure for you. So then I'm just gonna use my nail clipper and clip off the length. And then I'm going in with this fine sanding bit to take the shine away from my nail plate. You can use a hand file to do this and I used to do that, but since I've been using these sanding bands, it's just so much quicker and I'm really able to get into the side walls. So I took a challenge from Kiara Sky. They challenged us to e-file on an egg without breaking it. And I did a quick little Instagram video about that. Y'all need to follow me on Instagram if you don't because I am more active on there in between uploads. So definitely check me out on there. But yeah, I went ahead and tried that out. And I'm surprisingly way more gentle with my e-file than I thought. I did not crack the egg. So yay me. <laughs> But yeah, I just do this for all of the nails using my fine sanding bit to take away the shine. So for this set, I'm gonna use nail tips. I'm using the long stiletto tips and I get these from Amazon. And I'm just gonna pick through these to find my size. So after picking out all of my tips, I'm gonna use the Young Nails Brush On Nail Glue to apply them. And after holding that in place for about five seconds, I do squeeze the sides just to make sure that those are glued down. And that is what I do for all of the nails. So after all of the tips are on, I'm gonna use my nail tip cutter to cut the tips off. And then I'm just going to use my hand file to do the final shape. As you guys know, I love coffins, so that is what we're doing today. So after doing the shaping, I'm gonna take the 180 side of the hand file and take the shine away from the nail tip. This ensures that the poly gel is gonna adhere to the nail tip. And then I also blend in the nail tip with my natural nail. I want it to be a smooth transition. Like I don't want you to be able to feel where the tip starts or anything like that. So after all of that prep, I'm gonna go in with the Kiera Sky Nail Prep. This is a nail dehydrator. It gets rid of all of the oils on your nails. And then I'm going in with the nail primer. And then I'm gonna go in with the McCart Base Coat and just concentrate this on my natural nails. If it gets on the tip, it's okay, but you really want this to be on your nails. And I'll go ahead and cure that in the nail lamp for 60 seconds. All right, so after all of that prep, I'm using 91% alcohol as my slip solution for the poly gel. And this cute dampen dish is from Poochie's Nails. I'll be sure to link it down below. I'm gonna go ahead and just break in my brush. They do come pretty stiff. So I just put it in the alcohol to soften it up and then damp it off on my paper towel. All right, so now I'm going in with the bubblegum poly gel and just spread that out like toothpaste. <laughs> and then I'm just going to pat that in place. I like to really work around that cuticle area first to make sure that is nice and flush the way that I like. And then I'm just gonna pat this poly gel in place, going from side to side, forming the nail like so. And every so often, I just wipe my brush off and dip it back into the alcohol um, to you know make everything nice and easy to work with. So after I get the shape that I like, I'm just gonna go ahead and cure that in the nail lamp. And because this is a mini nail lamp, I had to cure for two minutes. So next, I'm just applying a layer of base coat. And then I'm just gonna tap in the glitter. And that is so, so cute. And I go ahead and cure that for 60 seconds. Next, taking some of that clear poly gel, I'm just gonna encapsulate the nail, which is basically covering up the glitter so I can go ahead and file in shape without it coming off. After doing that, I go ahead and cure once again for two minutes. 
So this is after repeating the same process for the index fingernail and the thumbnail. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and use my paper towel and alcohol to wipe off the tacky layer. Moving on to the next nails, I'm just gonna squeeze out some poly gel on my mixing plate. And taking this dotting tool, I'm just gonna apply a little bit of that pink poly gel. And I'm going for some color blocking, so my first strip is just gonna be this pink. And I'm just going to pat it in place, making sure that it is nice and crisp on the edges. And I went ahead and cured that for 60 seconds. Moving on to the next color, I'm going to use the teal and just do that same process. And I repeat the same thing with each color, forming it the way that I want and then curing it. Until I got to the last section, this nail turned out so cute. <laughs> I love these colors. Oh my God, it looks like a unicorn swirl. So I went ahead and did my final cure for 60 seconds. And then I repeated the same process for the middle finger. And I wanna show you guys how thin this is. I worked very thin because I am gonna encapsulate the whole nail with the clear poly gel. And I'm also building up the nail and the apex and all of that good stuff. So the clear poly gel is a little bit stickier than the other colors, but it wasn't too bad. I just had to moisten my brush more often. And I applied a little bit too much clear poly gel, but that's okay. I just used what I need and I chopped the rest off. And I went ahead and cured that for 60 seconds. And I did the same thing for the middle finger. And I'm just gonna wipe off that tacky layer because I cannot stand the stickiness. <laughs> Then I'm just gonna do my shaping and filing with the hand file. You also wanna make sure to wipe off the tacky layer before you file as well, otherwise you'll clog up your hand file. All right, so this is after the nails have been filed, shaped, and buffed, and they are looking so, so cute. So of course, you guys know I need to bling out my nails. So I'm using these pink crystals that came with the kit. And today I'm gonna try something different. I'm gonna use the clear poly gel and the top coat to adhere my crystals. So I'm just gonna scoop out some crystals and place them on my plate here. And I like to kind of place the crystals how I'm gonna have them on a the nail. It just makes it a little easier, you know, a little planning. <laughs> And I'm gonna use these caviar beads because I just love caviar beads with my crystals now. So I'm using the small silver ones. And I'm just gonna put a dollop of top coat into this dampen dish and place some caviar beads into the dish as well. And I found that it was quicker to use this nail art brush with a little bit of top coat on the tip. I was able to pick up more caviar beads. So I'm just gonna mix the caviar beads and the top coat together. It kind of kills two birds with one stone. The beads are coated and it makes it easier for me to put them on. So taking some of that clear poly gel, I'm just gonna place that where I'm gonna put the crystals. And taking the poly gel brush, I'm just gonna brush out the edges so it's a nice and smooth and no lumps. And without curing, I'm just gonna apply the top coat on top of that. And then place my crystals where that poly gel is. And 
And then I used the nail art brush to apply the caviar beads. And this was so much easier than doing it dry. <laughs> So after that, I'm just gonna cure for 60 seconds. And I repeated the same thing for the middle finger and oh, I am in love, okay? So now I'm gonna apply top coat to the rest of the nails. Alright, so after all that sexy top coat, I'm gonna go ahead and do my final cure. Now at this point, you can use your full size lamp if you want to, but if this is the only lamp you have, you will have to cure for 60 seconds and then do your thumb separately for 60 seconds. Alright, so this is after curing and oh, so, so cute. So I purchased this kit when the pre-orders were going on in December and I did not know that I was gonna be on the PR list so they ended up sending me one as well. So I do have an extra kit. I will be doing a giveaway on my Instagram so make sure you go ahead and follow me on Instagram. If you guys want to be entered into the giveaway, all the rules and everything would be over there in a post. So go ahead and follow me on Instagram. So next I'm gonna apply some cuticle oil. So I got this surprise package in my business mailbox. This nail tech was so kind enough to send me some of her products and I saw that they were cuticle oils and I'm a sucker for cuticle oils. The first two I have are these cuticle oil pins. This one has rose pieces in it and this one has a lavender. And these are the full size of the same lavender and rose oil. So I'm really glad that I got some more rose oil. My son was playing with my young nails rose oil and dumped it all on the floor. So I am so happy to have some more rose oil. Thank you so much. The next product here is a sugar scrub and I love the colors. It's giving me cotton candy vibes. And everything in here smells so good. This sugar scrub smells amazing. You would have thought this was planned, but this matches my nails perfectly. Like, come on, that is so dope. So yeah, check out Beautifully Unique. This is her information and I really appreciate you sending this package over. Thank you so much and I wish you continued success in your business. So if you guys are interested in sending products to my business mailbox, I'll be sure to leave that address down below. I can't guarantee that you'll be featured in my YouTube videos, but if I try your products out and I like them, I don't mind sharing that with my audience. So after applying the cuticle oil, this is the finished look. These nails are so cute. Oh my God, I love these colors. This kit was just amazing to work with. It comes with just about everything you need to get started. I just love all the extras it comes with. And I'm kind of sad that it's a limited release. McCart, if you're listening, this needs to be in your permanent inventory, your permanent stock. I think this kit is amazing and I'm gonna be so sad when I run out of these colors. So for my own selfish reasons, I think you guys should keep this kit going. Emily, you did a wonderful job putting this together. So if you guys are interested in this kit, I will leave it down below along with a coupon code to save you guys some coins. So I hope you guys enjoyed this nail tutorial and I will talk to you in the next one. This is the outro to the long hair pretty nail show, yeah.